Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Chang Hao Wang, and I'm here to give the uh, book report on this book that I've been reading for the past three months called Travels of a Teacher in the Global Economy, written by Pietro Rivoli. Some background about this book. I first heard about this book in my uh, business seminar last semester called Patterns in Global Commerce, taught by this amazing professor, Professor Scuba. And he strongly recommended this book written by his uh, fellow Georgetown colleague, Pietro Rivoli, and told us to read it, you know, if we have free time. And I wrote it down in my notes and never got a chance to read it. Therefore, when given a chance of choosing a book to read for this class, that was the first book that came to mind. Uh, author Pietra, uh, as you can see, she's uh, on the top left corner. Uh, and this is a screenshot of my class this semester called Business and Global Affairs. This is the uh, prerequisite course for the joint degree program that Georgetown is offering. And, um, and Pietro happens to be one of the professors that are teaching this course. And I am very fortunate to get a chance to spend time with her and to learn about her perspective on the issue. So after I finished reading the book, I stayed after one of our classes. Um, just to have a conversation with Pietra, and she gave me uh, more background about her inspiration for the book. And it's, it came from this anti-globalization speech that she attended uh, about like 10 years ago at Georgetown. And during, during which a woman went, uh, stood up and, taught, and asked a question, who made your t-shirt? And then kind of went on and talked about the abusive working environment for the workers in the uh, developing countries, which really made Pietra think what are the pros and cons of globalization and whether one outweighs the other. So kind of the summary of the plot, um, Pietra started with this uh, $6 t-shirt that she bought from Walgreens in Florida and kind of went from there kind of expanded that into the whole textile industry, kind of analyzed that. And then what happened was that she called the manufacturer of her t-shirt and got in touch with the manager who connected, who connected Pietro with his cotton supplier or his um, manufacturer. And uh, the manufacturer name is Patrick Xu. And as you can probably guess by his name, he's Chinese. And Pietro had a, finally had a chance to meet Patrick in DC, maybe like six months later. And Patrick, and what's surprising, what's really surprising about what Patrick said was that he actually got his cotton from the US. All of his cotton supply came from West Texas. And this, really, this is really surprising because US is normally viewed as a capital intensive country. And for, a, for the cotton plantation industry, which is a very labor intensive industry to grow, uh, is not really well suited for the US economy, let's put it that way. And, and then Pietra did her own research into this and find, found out that US is actually the third largest exporter of cotton in the whole world. And the US cotton industry have been, has been dominating since World War II. And then she kind of dived into the reasons that the US cotton industry is, do, is dominating uh, which includes subsidies, uh, uh, technologies, and all kinds of stuff. For example, the whole process, the production process is very automated right now. So kind of they converted this labor intensive industry into a capital intensive industry by using all of these machines instead of human, uh, human labor. So my main takeaway from the book is that um, Globalization is beneficial to everyone, like opening up the border, allowing for free movement of capital, labor, um, is beneficial to all parties involved. And uh, I had a much better picture of the global supply chain, which is something that I've always wanted to learn because uh, I envision that as an entrepreneur, if I do actually have, one day have my own product, it is important for me to reduce the cost. And, uh, learning about global supply chain do, does exactly that. And I learned about the advantages of outsourcing, which is uh, really cutting the production cost. Um, so if I get a chance, I'll probably go back and read this book again uh, this summer because I found it very interesting and I read it and I feel like there's more things that I could explore from the book. Uh, just 
And it's just a fascinating story about the journey, the life story of a teacher. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for your time. It's been a great semester with all of you guys. Uh, have a good day.